yeah i feel like my confidence is kind of shaken a little bit i feel like i'm literally gonna have like a mental breakdown in this car so we'll see how it goes Good morning guys, good morning. Today is Friday, February 7th. I cannot believe it's already February and also it's my birthday weekend. My birthday is on February 9th and I am so excited. I also low-key kind of forgot because I've just been so busy with school and doing a whole lot of stuff and I literally forgot it was my birthday like a few days ago. Then I looked at the calendar, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's already February and it is starting to rain, lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna be 28 years old this weekend. Like how crazy is that? Time flies so fast, like I'm not even joking. So today, as you guys can see, I am dressed in a suit. And why am I dressed in a suit, you may ask? Today is research day. So AUA loves to host a research day every semester. And this semester, they're going pretty big because now it's gonna be hosted in the conference center that they literally built last summer. So it's gonna be huge. It starts at eight o'clock for the presenters. And I forgot to mention, I will be presenting. I actually have two published research articles online and I will be presenting my first one, which will be on a connection between asthma and depression. It is a narrative review, but I have the opportunity to present it and I am so excited. If you guys weren't aware, I'm very passionate about research. I've always wanted to go into research. So I'm really thankful I was able to work on these research articles and present it at research day. So today we are gonna be starting off with a breakfast at eight o'clock and then there's gonna be like a little round table, I think around like 9.30. And then I forgot what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Lunch starts at 12 and then the actual student presentations don't start until one. And then the teachers, the professors actually have presentations and they'll be starting around, I think two or after the students have presented. There's quite a few students actually presenting their research. So it's actually really exciting to see what everyone has been working on. And yeah, I'm really excited. And I'm also kind of nervous because I haven't presented in a very long time, like probably over five years because COVID lasts us five years. So yeah, I haven't presented in a very long time. So I'm kind of nervous i feel i'm kind of rusty but we're gonna see how this goes i'm doing it for fun i'm going to try to relax and calm my nerves there's also a prize for the best research presentation and it's worth one thousand dollars there's a little bit of pressure because it would be really nice to win that money but at the end of the day it goes to someone who worked really hard and deserves it and who had the best presentation out of the day so we're gonna see how that goes today but i am so nervous oh my goodness but i had to pick my outfit last minute thankfully i brought a blazer since i came to the island i have never worn this blazer before so finally i'm putting it to good use so yeah so currently it is 7 22 i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and then we're gonna make our way to campus for our research day so excited and of course you guys are gonna come along with me so i can kind of show you guys how the caribbean schools not every caribbean school does have research but thankfully aoa has a specific research department so i'm gonna show you guys what it's like to have a research day on a caribbean island at a caribbean med school Wow, it really rained. Yeah, it definitely rained a lot. I'm trying not to get soaked because there's still water on the trees. And this is the outfit. So yeah, let's make our way to school. I also made some coffee, even though they have breakfast. I'm not sure I'm gonna like the coffee or not, or if they'll have the creamer I like. So I just made my own coffee. guys we made it to campus it is so windy because it started raining and the parking lot is empty because people don't have classes today because they want them to attend research day so i think we got here a little early so let's go on in i'm just walking over the grass because i don't want to ruin my shoes let's go in and get settled in My shoes got a little wet, but we're gonna head to the bathroom to fix our hair and yeah, because it was windy. So that's the stage that we're gonna be presenting on and I'm really nervous. It's huge. Okay, I was able to fix my hair and we are ready. I'm so nervous. We are here at breakfast and look who joined us, Miss Rachel. She actually presented last year and she's our student representative this semester.
Okay, so we finished breakfast and we were able to mingle with a lot of the professors and talk about our research. And it was kind of nice to kind of like break the ice. Honestly, I was kind of shy at first because I'm like, no, I have to socialize. But thankfully, like I was able to socialize with a lot of the professors and the ones who are actually doing the research. So now we're going to be taking a break and then we're going to go on to our keynote speaker. Now it's back to the presentations. It's the round table. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is 11.45. We literally spent about two to three hours talking about how more students can get into research. And honestly, I thought the round table was gonna go a little bit differently, but I don't know. I just didn't really participate in that conversation. I'm currently in my car. There's a lot of people out like inside the conference center already waiting for, they're waiting for food and they're also waiting to hear the presentations. And to be honest, I think I got a little nervous and a little overwhelmed. So I'm just sitting in my car. And now I kind of regret it because it is pouring rain and I am gonna get soaked so I don't know how I'm gonna go back in there but I think it should be clearing up soon I'm getting a little bit nervous and I feel like I should start practicing when I get up there so yeah let's see how this goes I am really nervous and I feel like I'm also really nervous because there are a lot of presentations that I feel like are a little bit more important than the topic that I am going to cover like they're doing about like gene markers they're doing stuff about like drugs and everything and I'm basically doing it on asthma and depression so it doesn't seem as exciting compared to what everyone else is going to be talking about so that also kind of makes me nervous because I'm like what am I going to do just go up there and just start embarrassing myself yeah I feel like my confidence is kind of shaken a little bit i feel like i'm literally gonna have like a mental breakdown in this car i don't know i feel like i literally can't compete with what everyone else is doing but i'm telling myself like you know what i'm doing this for fun i'm doing this to share some of the topics that need more interest to talk about because a lot of people don't talk about mental health a lot they don't talk about how all these things can correlate with one another so i don't know i feel like my confidence is kind of shaken so we'll see how it goes and also everyone did a full face of makeup i didn't do a full face of makeup because i just don't wear makeup on the island like I have no motivation to so I also kind of feel a little underdressed sorry my hands are shaky I'm like nervous so yeah I'm gonna try to calm myself down and then head on in soon okay guys I'm back inside I recollected some of my confidence so I'm gonna go ahead and have lunch and try to be positive <laughs> finished the presentation i was so nervous but i finished on time like literally the second of time and hopefully fingers crossed we'll see what happens honestly i'm still shaking my hands are still shaking
Okay guys, so research day is over. After the student presentations, we basically sat through four of the professor presentations and they didn't announce the winner of research day until afterwards. So they just announced it and it is after five. The entire research day was supposed to be done an hour ago. I didn't place. Apparently they were looking for people who spoke really well, practiced, basically talking without cue cards or a script. Unfortunately, like we didn't know what the expectations were for our presentation. So we presented it as best as we can. Honestly, like even though I didn't win or didn't even place, there was only first place, which was awarded a thousand dollars and second place, which was awarded, I think $500. I'm not sure if there was money for the second place, but one person won for the first place. And there was a tie for three people for second place. So it was just unfortunate that I didn't place but at the end of the day my article was published so that's something to be proud of i learned how to present honestly i hadn't presented in years for the amount of time that we were given because i didn't know i was presenting until the monday and then i had a quiz this past wednesday so for the amount of time that i had to work on this i'm proud of myself for getting it all done and apparently the way our powerpoints were structured also mattered too so they wanted pictures they wanted the whole nine yards and i'm like i only had a few days to do all of this stuff because we also have another quiz on monday and i honestly felt like i didn't didn't have to go this morning to like the round table or breakfast i could have just stayed home and studied because now i'm behind on studying for my quiz i could have just came for the presentation and everything but apparently they were looking for all of that and i think like it would have been nice to know all of that was to be expected because we weren't given any rubrics to see what was expected of us from the judges we didn't know who the judges were there are apparently five professors who were judges that's basically how it went it is what it is i learned how to present and yeah now i can finally go home and study and just enjoy my birthday weekend happy 20th birthday to me probably by the time you guys see this my birthday would have passed already honestly i don't have any plans for my birthday because we have the quiz the next day so i'm just gonna be studying in my apartment because my birthday's on the sunday so not really doing anything just staying at home and yeah that's basically about it and probably i'm just gonna buy myself a birthday cake i'm actually headed to epicurean now to get myself like a little birthday cake to celebrate so yeah i just wanted to vlog and show you guys how the research department is at a Caribbean medical school. Honestly, I felt like it didn't need to be the entire day. And I felt like the morning, like I really liked how we had the breakfast and everything, but I felt like the round table could have been better used for our time if we were talking about research ideas or people went around talking about their own research too, instead of us talking about how we can get students more involved in research because I felt like it was pretty redundant and everyone kept saying the same things over and over. And at that point, it just has to be implemented. And I feel like we as students were already so busy and I just felt like talking about that for three hours just wasn't a good use of the time i felt like it could have been used for something way more better or we could have done like activities with research or something like that but overall i am glad i was able to participate in this but now we have to go home and study for our quiz so i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog on coming with me to research day today and presenting my article i'm so proud of myself i was able to do this get through this have the article published and at the end of the day i could only be proud of all the things that i was able to accomplish even though I didn't win and I'm just so happy for the winners and congratulations to them I know you guys did work hard on your research and research isn't something that is easy to pursue I would say if you guys want to pursue research I would say pick a topic that you're passionate about present it to a mentor or professor and then start working on it make sure you have great support you have great evidence to back it up and you work really hard on it and I know you guys would be able to do it so without further ado I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog as always if you guys love watching my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys